decided to try and repair um, old Sony Video 8 VCR. I was pretty sure it was um, a DC uh, converter for the display that was knackered. You can probably see the capacitors um, leaked. Well, possibly two. I don't know what damage that's done to the traces. Uh, could be bad. I'll replace as many capacitors as I've got parts for and then we'll see if it works. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, it's just one of those things, I guess. But yeah, so it's two capacitors there you can see are pulled off that were pretty bad. Um, so I'll try and clean it up a bit more and then get them replaced. So I had new capacitors for all of the DC converter, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll just solder them in. Um, but yeah, I don't know if the damage to the traces will mean this doesn't work, but we'll see. So I've soldered all that back on. It looks okay. The traces look fine on the back at least. And then on the front the new capacitors so I'll put it all back together and see if it works. So I'm quite pleased to say that that worked perfectly. So let's get out of my infection. You can see the display on this unit now works fine. Um, that was what had disappeared. Essentially it wasn't working. Got all those capacitors replaced that seems to be okay. And the rest of it seems fine. I'm going to try and pop a tape in it, so just hold on a second. That seems to be okay, let's try playing it. Oh, it probably doesn't like being upside down, so I'll uh, try that later. So I'll just reassemble it and give it a try. But that seems to be fine. So I'll just give the uh, the mechanism a quick test. I hopefully I can support it enough that it won't fall down. That looks okay. And the display looks fine still. So right, I'll just uh, pop this lid back on, and we should be good to go. So I've just put a tape in it. See if it plays. Seems to be. You can see the display there. The uh, pretty cool um, tape symbol going around. The rest of the control panel seems to work. There's a few other quirks. This one is that the um, the remote. You have to leave it powered on for a bit before the remote works, which is suggestive of some other component getting old, but that's alright. Seems to work pretty well. Obviously I can't show a picture right now, but um I can't see why it would have stopped working, but I'll check it anyway. Obviously. Cool. Successful repair job. With a handful of capacitors.